Currently on the Doppler, we're still tracking a few little isolated showers down into south central Montana. We do have a cold front that is going to drop through the state here today. That's going to help provide the lift needed to kick off some stronger storms later this afternoon. So with that said, we do still have a fire weather warning in place today. The main reason for that is because of the sporadic gusty wind that is going to be associated with these passing storms. It will likely be breezy today, but again, the isolated, uh, you know, wind variables are what we really have a concern over when it comes to the fire danger here today. 90 degrees in Great Falls for your daytime high 89 in the capital, so slightly cooler than yesterday. Still pretty darn hot though in the eastern plains, upper 90s there. Today's storm potential a uh, lot better coverage on today's storms and definitely going to see some slightly stronger storms, most of which again are going to be dry in nature, but there is still going to be some periods of rain, maybe even a little heavy at times and again gusty wind. So here's how the day is going to play out for us this afternoon. That high pressure ridge is still going to dominate out east, but that cold front is going to move in. That's going to crunch that ridge down along the leading edge of that cold front. You'll notice that's where some storms are going to start kicking up from Great Falls down into the capital. They're still going to be pretty isolated, but the overall coverage of these isolated storms is going to be a little bit greater Then around seven. Uh, we're going to likely see kind of round two, so most of the storms I'm expecting to follow that cold front, so we'll likely see some mid afternoon afternoon and then more as we head into the early evening. Storms will continue to amplify as they track into northeastern and eastern Montana there. I would say from Haver to Glasgow, that's going to be the area that likely sees some of the stronger storms here this afternoon and evening. 53 then for your overnight low, finally backing those temperatures off. It's a very mild uh, morning right now. If you walk outside, you'll definitely feel how warm those overnight lows were last night. 53 tonight again, 55 in the capital looking at the low 60s in northeastern Montana. That high pressure ridge though is going to come back with a vengeance. It is going to rebuild as we head toward the weekend. That is going to push temperatures back into the early 90s as we head through Friday and uh, even into Saturday. So we'll start to see those temperatures warm back up tomorrow. 89 degrees in Great Falls in the capital, low 90s in northeastern Montana and uh, then on Saturday back into the low 90s for pretty much all of the state touching back into the triple digits out east. So extended forecast now we're up to Saturday. That ridge will continue to amplify right now. It does look like we're going to start to see some cooler air knocking at our doorstep, possibly Tuesday, Wednesday of this next week. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that, but up until at least Tuesday staying very dry. So over the next seven days, here's what we're tracking 90 degrees today. Showers and thunderstorms in and around Great Falls dry though through the weekend well into the 90s. The capital looking at 89 showers and thunderstorms low, uh, excuse me, high 80s there on Friday, staying in the low 90s through the weekend, Shannon.